Hello, everybody. Let's make sure that my microphone is on this time. Welcome to my live plan with me. I will be planning out the first week of June 2021 in my bullet journal. If you are live, let me know you can hear me in the comments below because obviously I'm not always speaking into a working microphone. And if you are here on the replay, then let me know you are here as well so that when, when you are here, so that I know you were here because that would be fun. It is balls hot today. We have the air conditioner on in the background. I apologize for any extra background noise, but only a little bit because it's too hot to not have it on. Oh, good. You guys can hear me. Woohoo! Okay, so let's get started. And before I do, I will let you know that we're going to start. I'm going to try a new layout. It's not entirely new. It is going to have some amount of uh, similarity to some things I've done before. I loved last month's layout. But this month, I did see something I liked on Instagram. The person was called Carbon Stamps. And I loved this little setup that they have with events on the left and then meals and to-do list on the right, even though I'm not going to do my to-do list there. And then they use little stamps for each event, but I have too many events for that. So I'm going to try something else. However, I, um, this is kind of the basis of it. And so that's, that's, I'm letting you know that I'm also going to open up the kitten cam because we actually have Lucy in the cat bed sleeping today. Loki is asleep on my bed in the bedroom. He's basically, uh, given up on how warm it is today and has just found a comfy spot where the air conditioner is blowing in his direction, but yet still snugly on the blankets and warm. But Lulu is right there. Sleepy, sleepy. Ooh. Yay. Haley, you're here for the first, for your live for the first time. Yay. Or maybe for, you said finally, I'm assuming the first time. Are we still doing potassium reminders? Uh, you thank you for reminding me, but my patrons reminded me earlier in our hangout. So I do appreciate it though. Hi, Aaliyah. Hi, Heather, Catherine, this bunch of you in the chat, Maggie. I'm not going to be able to get to say hi to all of you, so I'm just glad to see you all. So, hi. So, what I'm going to use for my layout, this is for my first layout here in the month of June, which that video is already up if you want to see it, and I've already started filling out my to-do list. I didn't do a to-do list in May when I did this. See, I've been filling my steps in. I'm not really on top of that, but like I, I did this, this situation, which I thought was cool, but it wasn't helpful. So I went back to the to-do list this month. I'll also show you from last week. I didn't ever add in a willow thing, but I did do it later. Anyway. Ooh, your first live to Helen. Welcome. How am I feeling? Jennifer? I'm in a great mood today. So anyhow, um, yeah, so let's, and I've already got some notes for something else on this page, so that's why you're seeing, like, stuff bleeding through, because I was doing all sorts of fucking highlighting. Anyhow, first time in a long time. Good times. So, I'm going to try and do that, and I've already kind of spaced it out. So, I'm going to draw in. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take my watch off. I have this new scrunchie band. I was telling my patrons about it because I've been going for so many walks and it's warm and it's getting sweaty and smelly. But I just, I, it, the one problem with the scrunchie band is that sometimes it like kind of cruises to the side and when I'm trying to draw, it's just not working. So I'm not walking right now. I don't care. I'm just gonna put it from over there. It's okay, Jenny. It's okay. The three day weekend is throwing me off too, man. Except we have a four day weekend, sort of. My kids have a four day weekend. They have their extra fire day. Um, it was Friday. All right. So I'm going to draw this in. So this line is for the top here. And then I'm going to do another line right here. And then finder's fee for the 100 GSM scribbles that matter notebooks. Nice. Thank you for the super chat, auspicious Katie. So I'm just kind of drawing this into where I want it to be. And then here again, this is for my to-do list, my Alistair task list. Now, here's the thing. I'm, what I'm going to do, what I'm thinking of doing here is, uh, is um, rather than ha I'm going to have events, but instead of any to-dos, I'm just going to have all my to-dos on this list. We'll see how this works. 
I may be fucking myself over here, but that's okay. It happens, right? Jenny says, you've had a glass of wine, chatty Jenny comments. Good times. I had a glass of sparkling wine with Jesse yesterday, sparkling rosé, which was fucking lovely. And it did not make me feel like absolute shit. I did, however, chase it with like two humongous things of water. So that might have been it. But yeah. Oh, Jessica asks, fire day, is that like a snow day in the Midwest? Yeah, basically. That's what Jesse said, because I was like explain the fire day and I've never had snow days before because I live in California my whole life and his fire day thing is new and he was like yeah it sounds like a snow day so and he grew up in New York so he actually knows about snow days does anyone know how the barren fig journals react with fountain pens I do not because I do not have a fa I have one but I packed it so I I don't have that but this was these dark shadows are from using I was using um I was using zig dot pens as highlighters and pushing down really hard. That's why they bled through. You will have them in Denver. Yeah, Heather. Yeah, I know. Okay. So what I think I'm going to do is just go like events. And then here will be meal plan. And then what I'll do for the, we'll start with the meal plan. We'll make this actually, no, cause wait, how did I, how did I decide I was going to divide this up? Wait a minute. Was it 34, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Yeah. So 34. So I was going to divide it up with six squares per day except for Saturday and Sunday where I was only going to give myself two squares per day. And before you're like, but Cindy, you always say you want weekends to have more space. I do, but there isn't going to be a live plan with me next weekend because I have to go to Denver to close on my new house. And so, um, I'll be flying that weekend and my to-do list is going to be either huge or tiny. And so, um, I don't need the space, but I will need the space for the weekdays. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So I'm going to take this zig, uh, clean color dot pen. And what I'm going to do is we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, whoops. <laughs> Wait, one, two, three, four, five, close enough. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Wait a minute. Shit, I wanted six. God damn it. 25. So 34. You know what? Fuck it. We'll just do five for Saturday. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four for Sunday. We'll give Sunday the smaller one. There we go. Or I could just make this one one thing longer. Let's just do that. We'll just give them all five and my whole plan is in shambles, but that's okay. Right. That my, that is okay. My whole plan is in shambles. There we go. See, beautiful. <laughs> so I want to hear more about this Rakuten thing in the comments. Cause I've seen people talk about it on like sponsored videos and I view sponsored videos with a massive grain of salt. So Monday, the 31 and then Tuesday, the first Wednesday, the second Thursday, the third Friday, the fourth Saturday, the fifth Sunday, the sixth. Yeah. See, doesn't that just look, I'm trying to go for like a super like suave situation here. Have I ever thought of doing an old weekly, weekly, which one, Jessica? Is 
Is Rakuten what used to be Ebates? Watch Jordan Page of Fun Cheap or Free. Okay. It doesn't quite roll off the tongue. All right, so. Um, the biggest problem is remembering to activate it. The Chrome extension allows you to set it up so that it shows you when they're offering cash back. 2018 or 2019. Huh. I don't know, Jessica. Maybe. I mean... Good news you met a dog in the pub. Good times, Jenny. All right, so um, meal plans. What do I have for this week so far? I've got four, plus I know we're gonna go out at least once. One, two, three, four, five. For my meal plans. And yes, I'm using two different colors here. So it's not a scam, right? Okay, that's what I was wondering about, is whether or not it was a scam. So lasagna has been on my meal plan for like three weeks now, and I still haven't made it, and it's supposed to be a hot week, but I still want to make it and just get it fucking over with. With bread. And then we've got kebabs, which is tonight, so this might actually get checked off early, but we shall see. We do our kebabs with, um, so not a scam. Okay, I'll totally, I'll totally do it then. Because I'm going to be buying a lot of furniture in the next couple of months. Like, do they do, like, like Wayfair and places like that? Um, breakfast salads. I'll explain any of these if you'd like to know what I'm talking about for these meals. Breakfast salad. And then out. Oh, wait, I have one more. No way, I have two here. Never mind. Shrimp noodle bowls, which is my sister's recipe from our family cookbook. I'm giving that a try. And then out for meal plan. And so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw another two lines. I went too far. I went too far. I cannot tell what the fuck I'm doing. Okay, so breakfast salads are, yeah, lasagna has been on my mind since I've cleaned out my pantry, and that's exactly why, because I want to get rid of the stuff in my pantry. So breakfast salads, it's this recipe, it's on my Pinterest. It's not called breakfast salad on my Pinterest. It's called, I think it's under the things I want to make. It's like a Whole30 situation or something, some Whole30 breakfast salad. But what it is, is like greens, or you can do spinach, or you can do arugula. And then you roast, it says sweet potatoes, but I'll just roast like, the, I have little like Dutch yellow potatoes, so I'll roast those and then cut them into like quarters and roast those little tiny potatoes. And then you make bacon and you put the bacon in the salad, you put the potatoes in the salad, you put like cucumber in the salad if you want to, you could put tomato in. I'm not gonna put tomato in because I don't like tomatoes. Uh, you put avocado in, again, I don't like avocado, but the kids do, so they'll put it in. You toss it with a little bit of lime juice and a little bit of olive oil. And then you put a couple, they say poached eggs, but I can't poach eggs for the life of me. So I'll just do runny yolk fried eggs. You drop a couple runny yolk eggs on it and you pop the yolks and then stir it all together so that the yolks and the lime juice and the vinegar and everything kind of mix or the oil to be a, kind of a dressing. Cat calls it hangover food, even though they've never been drunk. Um, it's really good. It's very filling and very enjoyable. <clears throat> Ashley Overstock and Pier One, Sephora. Mmm. All right, so this will be weather. Let's see here what we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, so I don't want to go all the way down, so we'll do we'll do some more of these. We'll go one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven for the weather. Tomatoes are Satan's balls. I like that, that, uh, that characterization. There's, it's funny, I read an article a long time ago that said that often tomatoes tend to be, if you're picky, you tend to not like tomatoes or feel very strongly about them because of how they like combine like pulpy and juicy and like firm but squishy and all of these textures. And that's just like for somebody who's texture averse and I'm very texture averse. Like I have a lot of texture sensitivities. Tomatoes are like the worst thing ever. I don't mind the flavor of like tomato sauce or ketchup or whatever to even tomato soup, as long as it doesn't have chunks, but anything where like the texture of the tomato comes into it, I want to yak basically. I love runny eggs. Oh my God. I am a hoe for runny eggs. Love me some runny eggs. Okay, let me pull my phone up because I looked at the weather a couple days ago when I was kind of preparing for this video and I think it changed. I'm under a heat advisory this weekend. It's not going to be quite as hot here as it is other places, but it's still going to be in the 90s tomorrow. Sunny days are here again. I'm just liking how like very like clean this looks. Worst texture of food ever, mushed up bananas. I'm right there with you. Blah, blah. Unless it's in banana bread, but then they're baked. Do you know what I'm saying? Dried roasted tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. See, I have cherry tomatoes for the kids to put in their salad if they want to. I don't think Cat will. I don't think Cat likes tomatoes either, but I think RJ will. I don't eat pico de gallo, Carly. I don't eat anything like that that's mixed together all, unless, unless I make it myself. And even then, like, I don't like onions. I don't like tomatoes. I'm okay with red bell pepper on its own, like raw or in very few versions of cooked things, but like salsa, pico de gallo, um, guacamole. I don't need any of those things. It gross me out way too much. Cannot do it. Cannot do it. Although I will say I had, so I have, Chili's was never somewhere I ate as a kid when they first started becoming a thing. Like Chili's was never a restaurant I went to. Jesse, however, enjoys Chili's. And we decided to go to Chili's when we went to, when we were out of town while the houses were being shown because we needed to eat. And like we went, it was like our first, I think it was our first time inside a restaurant, but we went right when they opened. So there was like nobody there. Um, so we went to Chili's and I got some of the queso from Chili's because I was like, okay, we'll give this a try, right? And I actually really liked it. So I looked up a dupe recipe and I'm gonna make it this afternoon. I'm gonna give it a try. It is not healthy at all. And it is, it is made with Velveeta and I am fine. Velveeta is one of those things that I find acceptable in certain circumstances. And this is one of them. So I will let you know if it comes out good. I will let you know and I will post the recipe. I got it off of the internet, like all things delicious. I got it off of the internet, but I will be combining some Hormel beanless chili and Velveeta this afternoon to make my ass some, some chili style queso <laughs> among other things. There's like spices and shit, but it didn't have like random chunks of things. The only chunks were like, the meat-like product from the Hormel chili. So I'm fine with that. Okay. Ooh, Denver, it's raining. Jess, it is 57 degrees and raining in Denver right now. Jess. I heard you. Okay, you didn't respond. Okay. 
but it's supposed to be in the 80s when we go to sign on the house because I'm checking checking the weather but it is raining there right now it's so cool I wish it was raining here all right what is Velveeta it's like it's like a cube <laughs> it's like a it's like a brick <laughs> of pasteurized processed cheese product like American cheese slices that are wrapped in the plastic but a brick of it that's exactly what I'm going to be doing Hallie so thank you for letting me know it kind of has it kind of is like it, it's not like cream cheese but it's brick like in foil like cream cheese. <laughs> have I ever tried Dominican food? I have not. Pa it's processed cheese product. How am I with most soups? I uh, prefer smooth soups, like blended soups. I can make soups, like I don't like onions, but I'm not, I don't hate the flavor of onions depending on the context. And when I make like, like a potato soup or something i'm fine with making it with like onions and things like that in it as long as i can use my immersion blender and make it smooth i actually am very proud of myself for the chicken gnocchi soup because it does have onions in it and i still will eat that it's because it's so salty like i can give i can deal with a lot of garbage when it comes to texture as long as it's salty enough This is the Alistair method list that I'm making right now. So this will be my task list for the whole week. So I'm not going to be writing down tasks for each day unless it's like something I can treat like an event. So there's my basic, my basic layout. And then I want to add a couple of like little lilies of the valley. So I was thinking about drawing one like here, kind of this just a very simple one oh my God. see just a very simple Lily of the Valley, very, very simple. And then maybe I'll add one over here or maybe not. And then I need to put what week it is. I guess I'll do that right here. We'll put week, because I've been doing this on every spread and if I don't keep doing it, I'll forget which one is which. Is it week 22? It is week 22. Week 22. All right, so there's the basic spread. Let's start filling it in. Velveeta is the spam of cheese. You thought Kraft American cheese was government cheese? Okay. Velveeta is not government cheese. When Okay, I'll actually tell you. When I was a kid and we actually got government donated commodities often when my our food insecurity was really bad and we had to go pick up like the box of food, you would get like you would get um you get like a like bags of flour that just say flour or you get like nondescript cans of canned goods that didn't have any labels on them so it was like mystery food like is this fruit cocktail is it beans and you would often get cheese but the cheese we got wasn't like Velveeta it was um Colby Jack cheese yeah that was the cheese that we got most often was Colby Jack did I start a trend Pamela I don't know if I started a trend or not. Maybe I did. Um, yeah, if it has a brand name, it's not government cheese. No, no, no. Okay, so what do we got here? Our events are Monday. Um, so far, I only have the one tomorrow. And then Tuesday, I have one, two, one, two, three, four, five. I have five five events on Tuesday. One, two, three, four, five. One event. Wait, wait a minute. Hold please. I'm checking in a message I got earlier because I feel like I have wrong. 
All right, Wednesday, I've got an event. And then Thursday, I've got two, one, two. I've got nothing on Friday so far. Saturday, I've got two, one, two. And Sunday, I've got three. So I guess I was wrong, two, three. Okay, so there's my little event dots. I'll just start filling these in. I'm just doing the dots first to make it easier on myself. A shrink wrap block of cheese with no label, exactly. What did, what did Amber say? Unpopular opinion, fruit cocktail is nasty. Okay, here's my thoughts on fruit cocktail, okay? And my thoughts on like canned peaches, canned whatever, okay? canned fruits like that because I have some I have fair I have feelings about canned fruits as a kid who had a lot of food insecurity when I was younger and fruit cocktail often was the fruit in our house was fruit cocktail right fruit cocktail fruit cocktail is I agree with you Amber it all tastes the same and when I was a kid we wanted to get the cherry in our serving of fruit cocktail, but as an adult looking back, the cherry was the only thing that didn't taste the same in the fruit cocktail, but it was nasty. My opinion is in fruit cocktail, the reason fruit cocktail is so nasty is the grapes. Grapes have no business in fruit cocktail. I'm fine with the pears and the peaches and the pineapple all tasting kind of the same, but then you have the grapes, which are like the tomatoes of the fruit cocktail. The texture is so off. I love grapes, but not in fruit cocktail. That's my feeling. I love canned peaches, love canned peaches, especially when they're in the 100% juice instead of like sweetened with like sugar, like the 100% juice canned peaches, whether they're the little squares or the big fucking halves of peaches, I'd eat the shit out of some canned peaches. I love canned peaches. Canned pears, to me, used to be really good, but as I've gotten older, they're too crumbly. They're like if you stuck a, a red delicious apple in syrup, and that's just weird to me. Canned pineapple, if I am in the right mood, give me a can of chopped or crushed pineapple, and I will eat that entire thing, but otherwise I don't want anything to do with it. I'd rather have fresh pineapple, right? But currently, my favorite thing that I'm loving is either canned peaches in the little cups in 100% juice or the mandarin oranges in the 100% juice, or I've actually gotten down on some like applesauce pouches recently because I need some kind of a fruit and my stomach has been so upset and those little applesauce pouches like for kids are handy when you think you're going to puke. They're very handy for that. Anyway, Monday, I have a call at 12. Tuesday, we were gonna have our final walkthrough tomorrow, but that's happening on Tuesday instead. So Tuesday, I have a lot going on. I have comments, my video goes live at 10 a.m. And then Kat has an appointment at one. I have a live with my patrons at two. Loki has a pre-op appointment. He has to go in to get his teeth cleaned and a cyst removed. We're just gonna get this taken care of before we move. So Loki's pre-op is at 3.30 and then we have our final walkthrough at six for the buyers of this house. So we'll probably head out and get something out to dinner of some sort. I'm looking at the comments. Mixed vegetable. Oh, okay. So my dad hated lima beans. So we never ate them when I was growing up because my mom wouldn't make lima beans. I do not care for mixed vegetables, but I do have. So generally speaking, I'm fine with frozen vegetables and even frozen mixed vegetables if I'm putting them in something. 
but canned vegetables. My mom used to make, used to swear. My mom used to swear that canned corn was the only kind, of, like either corn on the cob or canned corn because frozen corn was never good. You have to doctor with lots of butter for it to be good. That's what my mom told me and I always believed her until I became an adult and discovered the frozen sweet white corn at Trader Joe's. It's like 99 cents a bag or something. Just the regular corn in the freezer at Trader Joe's is fucking outstanding. It is so good. You don't have to do anything to it. You just cook it, just heat it up until it's like cooked, like heated through and it is the best corn. I almost like it better than corn on the cob, almost. However, canned vegetables wise, I can get down on some canned green beans. Not, not the French cut, those floppy situations. No, 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 no. They have to be the cut ones or the whole ones and they have to be specific. But when they are the right kind, they are so good. And my dirty little secret is that one of my favorite like comfort foods is to make cheeseburger, macaroni, hamburger helper, and stir in a can of green beans at the end when you take the lid off, but it has to like congeal for five minutes, dump in a can of green beans, like drain the green beans, dump them in, stir them in. They'll heat through when it's like coming together. Mm -mm. Jesse will not eat it if I put the green beans in it, but I fucking love it. Yeah, Amber, I'll eat canned green beans straight from the can, too. So Wednesday, if everything goes well, we'll be closing on this house that we're living in currently. So yay. Thursday, I have another video going live at 10. And then Kat has an appointment at 1 p.m. And I don't know... If I'm taking Kat, if Kat is going to their dad's on, if the kids are going to their dad's on Thursday or Friday, they came, excuse me, they came to our house on Thursday, but I don't remember what next week looks like. So far, I don't have any events on Friday. Saturday, we're going to wash sheets. It's going to be more on Saturday to get ready and then check in for our flights. And then Sunday is when we're going to Denver. So we have our flight. I'm not going to put all that info in here while you're looking because I don't want you to dox me picking up our car and our check-in at the hotel. And hopefully that's the day we'll get a walk through at the, the, the new house in Denver, but we'll see. I don't know what day we're going to look at it, but that like, we didn't realize we were going to have to go to Denver, but now that we are, we're hoping to get in to see, do a final walkthrough of the new house. So that would be a great, I don't care for peas at all. I think fresh peas, like fresh, like you pop them out of the little thingy peas are not bad, but generally speaking to me, peas are like the red delicious apple of vegetables. Mealy, I don't like. Me, no. Peas are not my thing. I like carrots, but I prefer uncooked carrots. I prefer raw carrots. I love broccoli in damn near any form. Frozen broccoli, raw broccoli, cooked broccoli, steamed broccoli, fucking wilty broccoli, don't even care, baby broccoli, all the broccoli. Give me the fucking broccoli. Broccoli is my favorite vegetable of all time. Fucking love broccoli. Green beans in a can. I prefer to fresh green beans. <sighs> Are the cats uh, staying? No, they're going to be here this time. And they're gonna, we're going to have somebody um, house sitting for us. It's a much shorter trip. And there aren't going to be any showings. That was the biggest worry we had with um, the cats being here when we were gone in Denver before was all the showings. All right, so I've got a bunch of to-dos I'm going to put on this list right now just to populate it. Let me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I have 16 so far. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So this may not be enough space. I may have to do a second bullet journal <laughs> spread for this week, but we'll see. Whew. Red Delicious apples are fucking nasty. I'm sorry. I'm so, no, I'm not. I'm not even sorry. I'm not, I'm not sorry. You like Brussels sprouts, Amber? See, I had, Jesse roasted some and I tried them and they weren't bad, but the aftertaste of Brussels sprouts still weirds me out. Yeah. 
I love roasting broccoli. I love roasting broccoli in the oven with a little salt and pepper and garlic powder and some olive oil until it is crispy. And then if you have leftovers like roasted potatoes and like something with gravy and you mix it all together the next day, oh, so good. All right, so there's a couple of vlog type videos I'd like to do this week. Um, I didn't wind up vlogging the Denver trip, so I'm hoping to get a little vlogging action in on this one. We'll see. This is just something I'm waiting for. Uh, I'm gonna clean the fridge out before we go on our trip, most likely. Um, I need to get an updated prescription list for when we move. I want to, this week, hopefully, keep your eyes open this week. I don't know where, I don't know how, I don't know when. I just know that I would like to give away all of my washi tape this week. So keep your eyes peeled. Follow me at Llama Letters on Instagram and be subscribed here on YouTube because it's gonna be probably one of those two places or maybe both, it's a lot of fucking washi tape. So I will probably divide it up into several bags, like just six like flat rate bags or something and then just run a couple of giveaways and get the fuck, get that washi the fuck out of my garage. Honey crisp apples are fucking legit. Pink lady apples are also really yummy. I like Fuji apple. I like crisp apples that are sweet with maybe a little bit of tartness. I'm gonna finish my Notion workspace. I'm almost done, I think. I think I've finally gotten it to where I want it, but I'm not sure yet. So I wanna wrap that up this week if possible. Gotta to go to Walgreens to fill a prescription for my kid. Wanna get the garage, I'm saying work on garage. I would ideally like the garage to be done, but the garage is never done. We could move out of this house and the garage would still not be done. We need to order our couch this week. That's why, because of the time it's gonna take for it to get there. Um, we wanna make a list of the measurements we wanna take in the new house so we don't forget anything. Um, packing, pack bookshelves, pack linen closet, what's left of it. Am I going like super crooked? Yes, I am. Fucking whatever. I don't care. And then I want to get all the pack, all the wall stuff, wall art. There's still some left. I think I figured out where the fuckery flowers are going in the new house though, so that's a good thing. I need to check my travel, my travel kit to make sure I don't need to replenish anything before we fly and finish the address change list, which I have started and just need to wrap it up. So that will be good. That's just what I've got so far. I'm gonna have more, but this is gonna be, like I said, a busy week. What couch are we getting? We do have it picked out, yes. We are furniture shop, both Jessica and one of the things we've sat on, the couches that we've looked at, uh, it's a modular couch. We wanna get a sectional for our new living room and we're gonna go with Burrow, I think. We really like the styling, we like, we like the color, we like that we're able to get it exactly to what we want. So, and we like the, just a lot of stuff about it. Yeah. <sighs> yeah we have jenny they have um they have like stores where you can sit on it i'm gonna put my watch back on so i think i'm pretty much done with this it's not a very colorful situation but like i'm not really feeling the colorful right now i really kind of want it to just be basic you know what i'm saying But yeah, so I'll show you though how the, the, some of these came out. Like, I did not do any of the challenges for May like I thought I was. May just went haywire. So this week with my patrons, I will be speed running the lettering challenge for May. So there is that. We're getting full though. This is how much is left. I'm, pr I'm probably gonna need a new bullet journal in July. I. I imagine there's not going to be enough left for July. So it's either going to be 
this one, which is the Passion Journal, or it's going to be the Scribbles That Matter. I'm thinking it might be the Scribbles That Matter, just because I don't really know if I want to use the Passion one yet. I think it might be the Scribbles That Matter, and I'll use the Passion one yet. Um, I don't know yet. And I haven't decided yet if I am going to, uh, if I am going to add a planner to my rotation after we move. If I do add a planner to my rotate, I'm going to pop my face on here. If I, if I do, hi Loki. If I do pop, if I do decide to use a planner in my rotation after I move, I have two contenders. I've reviewed one on the channel already, the Flourish Planner which I don't have in my hands because it is, you know, packed. Um, and there's another one that the review will be going up this month, which is the other possibility. Thank you for the warning, Alex. I appreciate that. Cut it by state, Nicole. That's a great idea. I mean, we're moving at the very beginning of July. We're leaving... It's about a week in July before we move. And then we won't be in the new house for a couple weeks after that. Like we're going to be in an extended stay for an extended stay. <laughs> Do I know if Kat, um, potentially RJ Haley, Kat is into choir right now. I don't know if RJ wants to or not. Your book fell apart after three months, pay me. That's, that sucks, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, um, so that might be a good idea, though, to just swap it over in July, like new bullet journal, new house. But yeah, like I, if I'm going to start a planner to go with my bullet journal, it'll probably be in August. So we shall see about that. But yeah, like I said, I have uh, two contenders right now. You have decided you already have too many planners for someone's zero life, Pam. See, my problem is, is that shit is starting to pick up in my life. Aside from the move, like take the move out of the equation. And now that the kids are starting, like having rehearsals and things like that, just in this last month, like when we hadn't had anything like that this entire school year, um, or since basically since like this, the, the late winter of last year, um, my mom's chauffeur life has gone like, and since they're going to be with us full time, once we move, it's going to be a lot, depending on what they decide to do. How are the kids? The kids are good. RJ is streaming or something in his room. I can hear him like super loud back there. Yeah. See, just the fangirl. I don't think I've ever managed to get one whole year in a bullet journal. And I think it's because either I fill each page up to the max or I like to have open space, but like it's never been something that I've done. Who's the second? The second. Oh, the second planner. That review's going up in a couple weeks, but I guess I'll just tell you. It's the mom agenda. A planner I didn't think I was going to like, and instead I am mildly, more than mildly, like it's still sitting out here, and I'm just like, so, spoiler alert. Anyway. I'm going to get going because I am done with my planner spread and I have some, some, uh, queso duping to do. And I will let you all know how the Velveeta situation works out. Um, uh, both kids I think are going to be working on getting their licenses. Once we move to Colorado, Kat was in the middle of potentially trying, but then was like, I'm not going to bother until I get there since it's going to be a different state anyway. So, and RJ will be 15 and a half by the time we move or mostly. So both kids are going to be looking to get their licenses once we move, but I don't know when that's going to happen. Is there a summer TV show I'm looking forward to? I don't think anything I'm looking forward to is coming out this summer. The two big shows I'm looking forward to because I'm a nerd 
one is filming and one just wrapped filming. The one that is currently filming is House of the Dragon. It's the prequel to Game of Thrones. It's based on the book Fire and Blood about the Dance of the Dragons, the big Targaryen civil war that happened where like everybody had dragons and they were all killing each other. And I really fucking love Fire and Blood and I love A Song of Ice and Fire. And I know that the end of Game of Thrones was kind of screwed up, but I don't fucking care. I want to watch that show because it looks rad. And then the other one that I'm really looking forward to is the Wheel of Time series. Uh, on Amazon that has wrapped filming and I am so ready for that. I have read that series for years and years and years and years and years and I'm a big fan of it and I am ready for that show and hopefully they don't screw it up. Anyway, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Um, oh, and for movies, I'm really looking forward to seeing In the Heights. We might actually venture into the theater to see In the Heights. I'm, I'm, I've heard that it's an excellent theater experience. Uh, I'm interested in the Dear Evan Hansen movie and the West Side Story movie because musicals are my thing and I am ready. My body is so ready for Dune. My body is so ready for Dune. My body has been ready for Dune. <laughs> my body's ready for Dune and my body is ready for the new Halloween movie because fuck yeah. Just because Michael Myers is packed away in a box doesn't mean that I don't think of him every day. So, yeah. I saw that the Lucifer new season is out on Netflix. I was like, oh, he's so hot. <laughs> but I have not finished the earlier seasons of that. Anyway, I'm going to get going. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Like I said, I will, there'll be videos coming out this week, but there will not be a live plan with me on Sunday. I will be back for a live plan with me on the 13th at 2.30 p.m. Pacific time. Also, if you're wondering if the time is going to change once I move and I'm in mountain time, I will be in a new time zone. I haven't figured that out yet. We'll talk more about that later. So in the meantime, have a wonderful rest of your day. Like this video on your way out the door and don't forget to subscribe. Hasta la